You know, some days you just need to step back for a little bit and think about what trash really is. I mean, what would you consider to be trash, you know? I don't consider this to be trash, I'm just gonna say it right out the bat. Welcome back guys to another episode of Is This Pack Trash? And my name is Leaf, as always, it's so awesome to have you guys back. So today, we have our hands on the Africa Pack, as many other people do. Um, yeah, this is just a really, really exciting pack to have, and we have a lot to uncover. So, there's a few things right off the bat, we're just, this is gonna essentially be a review, because it's not even me calling it out on trash. It's me just being absolutely amazed how well Frontier has responded to the community, and, you know, just how much love they actually put into this pack, other than, you know, any other one, basically. So yeah, we are here in their little Africa build for uh, their campaign, and you know, it's really cool. So we have a lot of animals we can look at. Right off the bat, I want to get into the animals. So the fennec fox is easily one of my favorites. <laughs> I mean, look how cute it is. They did such an amazing job on it. I was wicked, wicked worried about it being too bright, too saturated. But these guys are that beautiful pale color that, you know, a lot of us tend to love our fennec foxes being. I don't really have a complaint with this guy whatsoever. He actually also uses, if I can find if it's here in the habitat, they can also use that burrow or uh, that log enrichment. Um, all right, well, there it was. Wow, awesome, great. So they can actually use that, which is amazing. So if we take a look at like animals that can use that. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so it should just be Fennec Fox and Meerkat, which, you know, I wish we had more base game animals to be able to use it, but, you know, we don't really have any other base game animals that can use it. Fennec Fox had to be, like, one of the best choices for this pack, just because, you know, without it, the whole North African theme would crumble, and I know a lot more people would complain about it, but, you know, it's neither here nor there. So over here, we do have the Meerkats. And already, I've played with these guys for a good few hours. I absolutely adore these guys. Frontier nailed it with these. I have no idea how anyone can complain about these guys when they are easily one of the most, like, amazing, well-rounded animals in the game. They also have the burrows, and that's a mechanic that I really want to get into. Look at that chain link. Ooh. But yeah, these burrows essentially work as, you know, they can dig into the ground and they'll pop up somewhere else. And it, like, all determines you know, where they end up, so this is something that... Africa... Pack. So this is something that Nick brought up with me earlier as well. These plaster circles actually fit in here extremely well. So, I don't know, maybe it was just designed to utilize these in new different ways, but yeah, if you want to get some like artificial looking tunnels going, that is certainly an option. But um, yeah, I absolutely love these guys. Look at them travel in their little troop. I'm floored. Like, I didn't realize how much we needed meerkats until we finally got them. So yeah, I just absolutely am enamored with these guys. So amazing job of Frontier on that. No complaints so far. No complaints whatsoever. Over here we do have the Southern White Rhino. And you know, a lot of people may prefer the modded one over this. Not even the modded one. The other one was from Frontier as well. But these guys are still absolutely beautiful. I just really do love them. They seem like absolute beasts in here, and I love like the little attention detail on the neck and stuff. It really is amazing. But yeah, not much to be said other than that. I do know that you know we don't have our penguins in here yet, so let's actually just look up African penguin, and we can just get a couple of these guys in here. I'm very. This is like my first time actually seeing them, so we're actually, actually just going to wait a little bit but while we wait we can check out all the blueprints now frontier has absolutely killed it with these so my only complaint i guess it's not even really a complaint it's a nitpick but these blueprints actually do use stuff from like you know the india theme and stuff like that which if you're a challenge player like me or uh career or even franchise yeah that's the word i'm looking for you're gonna have to research both themes, which is a little weird, but you know, it still looks marvelous nonetheless. Our penguins just made it. But yeah, look at all these blueprints. I'm absolutely amazed by the level of Frontier's like dedication to securing like 
this traditional North African look. They absolutely nailed it with that. I don't know. And there's just so much more that we can get into right there. But before we get into scenery, I just want to take a little look at these guys. They're absolutely amazing. So I do have a little bit of a qualm with the wings. They seem to be a little bit further out. I don't know. It just kind of rubs me the wrong way. And I don't know. They just seem a little too stiff for a banded penguin. But you know, that's just me. I'm I'm very particular about my penguins, you guys know that, but still, I really do love them nonetheless. I'm really happy we actually get these, like, officially in the game, and look at those feet. Like, I love those feet so much. Please don't take that out of context, and please don't, please don't, please don't use that one against me. Um, but yeah, that is really cool to see. Sorry, I had a little frog in my throat. So, we're, we have a lot of other stuff to get into for this, so... In terms of animals, what else would I have liked to have seen? You know, obviously one of my biggest breaks with this pack would be there's a lot more African animals that we don't have in the game that would be perfect. And I feel like the African Crown Crane, throw a picture of it right over there for me and leave. Uh, it would have been an absolutely amazing pick. As well as like the Secretary Bird. I know a lot of people kind of fell in love with that one around the release of Zoo Tycoon 2 African Adventures. And I feel like we're just really missing out on that one. I feel like that one would have been a perfect callback for, you know, the series and whatnot. But yeah, that is pretty much all I have to complain about. I wish we got six animals and they could have tacked on a few extra bucks onto the pack price. I wouldn't have minded that in the slightest. But hey, we have a lot of scenery to get into and this is, this is easily the kicker of the pack. This is absolutely amazing. So we have three new, three, count them three new path types. So we have this one over here. It's bright blue, which is a little jarring, but I feel like a lot of people can use it in some good cases. And the fences use these, which are also separate objects. I believe I put them down somewhere. Or maybe not. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, these fences are absolutely beautiful. They have that nice brass color, not even color, that brass texture that you'll see in a lot of like Arabic and Middle Eastern crafts and stuff like that. They really do love like all their brass work over there and it's so cool to see Frontier. Pay attention to that little detail right there. They also have this little bit of a black and white path texture. This one is easily my favorite because you can see like the small imperfections in the path and they also have like a really really nice like uh, fence as well. And this one over here, this one is more of that classic like Egyptian looking one. So it has a lot more circles. You don't really see circles too much in Arabic uh, architecture or art really because it's a lot more geometric. So basically the idea behind geometrics is that it's kind of like, and forgive me if I'm like reciting this wrong, but it's the closest perfection to God you can ever get. And it's like the closest representation of God. And that's just something that you'll see repeated a lot more and more within Arabic architecture. If you look at the Alhambra, an example of that, it really does have a lot of that. So this is a little bit out of the norm, but I still love it nonetheless. It's really cool. And I can see a lot of like indoor exhibits using a lot of these tiles and stuff. But yeah, I absolutely love those. And while we're on the paths, let's talk about the stuff that you can only place on the paths. So this is the little umbrella that we get. It's a little too themed for me. Um, the cone itself is a little too tall. If it were a little bit shorter, it would have been perfect for me. But I still love how it looks nonetheless. I love these draping cloth and stuff like that. It's really nice. Um, I just really love it. The trash bin, it's a little too stylized as well, but I think it looks absolutely swell nonetheless. Especially if you're going for like an Arabic enclosure or desert kind of zoo. This would be the kind of theme you would want to use, especially with this one over here. I'm sure you could hide some pieces in here as well, just to, you know, round it out a little bit. I was considering like this stuff right here, and you can even hide this stuff right in here to kind of give it a little bit more of a cleaner look. And I don't know, just get smart with the pieces, you know? This is going to be like a little theme that you're going to see a lot in this like review, I guess. Uh, just get smart with the pieces and it'll all work out for you. And this bench over here, it looks nice. It's a little too like, if we just had this part and we could make this on our own, like the bottom part itself, that would have been a lot better. But I guess it's really cool nonetheless. We don't really have much other covered benches. I think the only other one is the India theme. So if we go for 
India. We can see that happen with that one as well. It's a lot more rickshaw themed, which is kind of cool. I never really noticed that before. But yeah, speaking of that kind of stuff, we also have the Vista points. Now, I haven't really messed with Vista points that much, so you can confirm like the direction that you want it to face. You can confirm like the piece you want it to face. So if you want it to be looking out into like a nice expansive canyon that guests normally wouldn't be looking out into, you can guide it into a little piece in there and guests will look down into there as if it were right up to them. At least that's how I understand it to be. Maybe even like enclosures and stuff, but hey, enrichment. So we get four new enrichment items. We get the small bubble. I feel like this one's a little bit of a miss for me. I'm sorry, guys. I feel like we could have gotten like, you know, maybe a different kind of burrow because I know that the meerkats already have their own burrow, which, you know, if we pop over to their little enclosure, I feel like if we got this, not that they're so small. If we got that as like a separate scenery slash enrichment item, so we could predetermine where the burrows locate themselves, that would have been 10 times better. But you know, we don't always get what we want. It would be awesome to be able to place those. But that's the only thing I would replace over here. The tennis ball, I think that's a swell addition. It's really cute. And you'll see a lot of like smaller animals use these as enrichment in real zoos. This tunnel, which I mentioned earlier, this is more than just an enrichment item. This is going to be really helpful for like, I'm going to pause it. This is going to be really helpful for a lot of builds with like, you know, a lot more dead foliage in it. And if you're building like beaver dams or something, cough, cough, when are we going to get a beaver? <laughs> um, that'll be perfect for it as well. You could just drape that right over the water. And we have a disco ball, which is a little different. So I believe if we turn off the lights, and that'll lead us into our next little scenery piece as well. It does emit a little bit of light. And so that's really cool. It's like a dynamic piece that emits light. So if we just, I don't know, if we put that against here, I guess, and have it kind of bounce off. Yeah, let's, can we reset the enrichment? No, probably not. Oh well, but no, it's still really cool nonetheless. And that will lead us over here to these pieces. Now, unfortunately, there is no power. I guess we can demonstrate this as well. We have presets for creativity as well. So if we just turn those on, we get the lights coming from like everything now. And these are really cool. So these are just windows and they are one way. So you don't see anything from that side, which it's a little weird, but I guess it's really good. It shows that Frontier is able to be flexible with their pieces. But yeah, these are just that classic window piece and you can make custom windows now. So that's really cool. Uh, we also get lights as well, and we can see just how beautiful that is. That's very Moroccan, very like Middle Eastern. And this one as well, it's a lot more of an oil lamp kind of style. I just love these pieces so much. And we're just going to get into this whole shebang. Now, Plaster. Plaster is the name of the game for this pack. I am absolutely floored by it. So I have a few complaints. A lot of these are kind of just reskins of India pieces. So if we look up India, India. Over here, we can see a lot of these are essentially just reskinned India pieces. Granted, there is a lot more work that goes into it that we don't really see behind the scenes, but you know, these blocks all match up. I wish we had just a little bit more new stuff in here. I know, I know, we got, we finally get like a good amount of scenery pieces, and Leaf is complaining. Oh my god, poor me. But no, like, that's my only qualm with the pack, except for the fact that these guys aren't smaller. I feel like these guys are absolutely huge. So if we get, like, a Frank over here, let's use our TAF Frank. So <laughs> we can kind of see, like, the scale of them compared to the person. I guess it makes sense because we don't really have that many big statues. But I wish we had smaller variants of these just because I was making some of them. I was making the uh, Africa Kalahari Zoo build, and they were a little too big for the entrance, but... Nope, that's my only complaint with that, really. And in the update, we also get all of these as well. So these are all the mesh pieces. Uh, not much to say about them other than that they are easily going to be the most useful pieces in the game right now. So, I don't know, I really love the chain link that they did for these over here. I really love, like, the wooden ones. These are perfect for, like, aviaries and stuff like that. And I really love how they separated both of these so we can do whatever we want with them. And they're even flexi color too. So if we want like a bright red fence, we get those. And it looks absolutely amazing. And you know my favorite part about these, they don't have shadows. So if we take all of these 
and we do a little bit of that and we do a little bit of this we can see that there is not a huge shadow footprint from a lot of these pieces this is like pretty much the most you'll get from like the transparent pieces but you'll get like the frames and stuff like that one but that doesn't bother me whatsoever because this is meaning this is meaning well i can't even talk anymore this means that we can do some really good looking aviaries without having to worry about like the shadow footprint on a lot of you know detracting from a lot of the natural light of the build and that's really cool i'm really excited about that so amazing job on those pieces right there for frontier now these pieces over here all right i feel like these are just a little bit too themed now i think we're gonna find excellent ways to use these i can always i mean we just showed like these ones off working as like tables and stuff so if you put a couple chairs right there that'll look nice it's just these i have a complaint with because like over here you can you can fake this well you can just do like white white and white and it looks really cool you get like nice cool designs with that but it's not like obtrusive this is a little obtrusive especially this one over here but you know we don't have that many pieces like this in the game so i'm not really too upset it's just it's a little qualm i feel like that takes away from some useful pieces but hey don't worry about that don't worry about that because we have flexi color ropes guys we have some flexi color ropes and i'm absolutely livid not livid that's quite the opposite of what i am so these guys look absolutely beautiful we can get some like really nice industrial blue ropes like that and yeah we also have all these plaster pieces as well um and we have all these pieces so we're actually just going to go through these relatively quickly animal signs they're absolutely amazing i love the theming of them uh it would be nice to get some themed ones and some standard ones i feel like we're kind of lacking on like that planet zoo whoops there goes my coffee <laughs> um we're kind of lacking on that planet zoo theming that we you know oftentimes kind of miss out on and that's like the one thing that i complain about the most with these packs not really too upset about it though because we get a lot of awesome stuff in return so we do have these camel like signs and stuff like that and you know we don't have any dromedaries in the game but they match like the style perfectly i'm not too upset about it because you know we have mods but no they're absolutely amazing and these plates as well i love these these look just like the stuff that you would see in like the medina and stuff in morocco especially the brass ones too i feel like they give a whole new level of decoration in here and they're perfect for like those little museum setups that you like doing your zoos and stuff so that's really cool uh we'll just go across the top first so these doors absolutely amazing not really useful for like main zoos and stuff like that i am sorry about the camera i'll, I'll just leave my mouse alone um these door handles are separate as well so it's very cool i like that and we also have all this brass stuff as well so we have some fences which match like that one over there and we have some other stuff like the uh holder over here which looks absolutely amazing and we have that little sign as well the uh shop facade absolutely love them i'm floored by all these we have this little fountain too really nice um it has water come out the spigot it's nice and we have another fountain as well so i don't know i mentioned this in the video yesterday it's like absolutely amazing to have these pieces just because it takes a lot of that busy work out of building i know i'm kind of like counteracting myself over here but you know it's hey it's me it's leaf i get to do that you know so these wood pieces over here i love these so much they are 10 times usefuler than like any other piece in the game because they are flexi color guys look at this we can have like pink wood and stuff so that's really good if you're going for a lot more of like a painted aesthetic uh we have all these plaster pieces over here you know i propped everything on them over there really useful i'm not sure what else to say they're just big building blocks i can't wait to see what everyone does with these and we also have this like garden set so this is the arbor set i guess it is um and it's just really cool it's all flexi color and it has multi flexi colors in here as well so you can have like green you can have blue and you can have like purple and stuff like that it's really cool like the amount of customization you're able to get with all those and look at these pieces over here look at all these plaster pieces so these perfectly match up with like plaster themes so if you get plaster wall 
they match up perfectly. So that's something I really applaud Frontier for doing. They're going back to old sets and they're, you know, revitalizing them. They're giving them a fresh coat of paint and it's really cool to see them do that. So those windows are going to be really useful. I love that archway. This one in particular is really nice. I think that may actually be... Oh no, that's part of the Africa set. That's really cool. But yeah, these, um, these over here as well, not really sure what I'm going to do with them. Once I get accustomed to the pack a little bit more, I'll be able to use them a little bit better. Maybe I'll even do a rehash of this video sometime in the future. But yeah, I really do love these pieces as well. They're perfect for like faux backgrounds for like faux rocks and stuff like that. I don't know. I really like them. All right, guys. Sorry about that. My dog was acting up. So yeah, going back to like all the stuff that we have as well, all these tile pieces, these are absolutely amazing. So I can already see some small art, like art shape senseis kind of taking these and running with them, especially this little guy right here. So I think the gutter cap, um, or even the gutter cap. Yeah. So it's about the same size as a gutter cap, which is really cool. I mean, it's a little bit bigger, but I don't know. We're going to see some really intricate designs with that. I'm so excited to see like all these smaller pieces make an appearance because these are exactly what we need when we build like high scale stuff like, you know, uh, you know, like all the bro nation builders, you know? Uh, so going forward, we also have a shoot ton of new foliage and I really love it. So we have this one over here. That's quiver tree. I believe this one is a dragon's blood tree as well. I don't know, just really cool plants and stuff like that. So they seem to be kind of like the same, but like probably from the same plant family or something. We have these little grasses right here, which are absolutely amazing for like, you know, those realistic builds. They just have that realistic texture on them. They'll like, you know, they'll be really good for building like high class stuff and stuff like that. And we have two new palm types. So these guys are the Doam palm. Not really sure what that is, but you know, they're really cool. They kind of have like these segmented looks to them. I don't know. It's just very cool to see. And we have the African oil palm. You know, they have these little fruits in them. Just awesome stuff right here. Just very, very, very awesome stuff. Uh, what else? We have these over here. These are the sausage trees named so because of these sausage plants that kind of drop down from them. It reminds me of college a little bit. But uh, yeah, these guys are absolutely beautiful. I am floored. I am absolutely floored. Call me, call me, call me a tile because I'm floored by all this. All right, I'll shut up. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, yellow fever acacia tree. Absolutely amazing as well. I also love this as well. This is so Tatooine is a little town in Tunisia and they actually have buildings that look just like these. These are very emblematic of like, you know, Star Wars Tatooine, by the way. Check out Drew's build if it's already out. He has like a little Tatooine build going on right now. And yeah, I'm just absolutely amazed with all of this stuff. So, you know, a few complaints here and there. I wish we did get like a different safari truck color or, you know, different safari truck style. So if we go for Africa, and we can already see them like start to rehash this item over here. You know, it's a classic safari jeep and stuff like that. I wish we had a different variant of this as well. Just to, like, you know, complete that look. But yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. Also, these like archways and stuff like that. Absolutely beautiful. And the stained glass. I already said my piece about those before. Uh, all these small pieces. I'm sorry. I keep on getting distracted. Very useful. Like, if there is anything, if there is one word that can round out this entire pack, it's useful. Even, like, this map, we never had, like, a desert map before without, like, you know, the big structures and, like, all the big mesas and stuff. But this is perfect right here. I'm very happy with how this pack came out. I am absolutely amazed how this pack out. So, you know, I'm gonna say it. This pack is not trash in the slightest. Am I recording? Yes, I am. I'm just very nervous about that. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much it. Um, yeah, not sure what else to say. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, be sure to check out my other videos in this series. I love to complain. So it's not going to be anything like this video right here. I know there's a few things I didn't really touch on. It's just because those things don't really have a big, you know, significant deal to me, I guess. Uh, probably like the dung beetle here. Let's let's take a look at it. You know, we'll, we'll look at the dung beetle. If we just look up beetle, we can see the sacred scarab beetle. Yeah, it rolls around as poop. Yeah, it's nice. And, you know, it's from there. I didn't even know they're from like all around the Mediterranean. That's really cool. 
But yeah, uh, I'm going to scurry along right here like a little meerkat. So I will be seeing you guys in the next one. Take care and have the most wonderful, wonderful days. Bye-bye now. Yeah.